everybody. Julie Sparks here um, from Chicago, Illinois. Um, listening to Mr. Andy Gillahorn singing Never Let Me Down. Um, I don't know what album it's off of. It's an amazing song. It's providing lots of comfort during this time. Um, basically, I'm just going to give a couple updates, you know, as I go through this process. Hopefully to, hopefully to just, you know, inform people what's going on in a central space as well as give hope to people that are going through something similar. Um, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease um, in November of 2008. And Hashimoto's disease is a chronic inflammatory uh, condition of the thyroid, which operates so much of your body's conditions and functions. Um, with Hashimoto's, it gets very enlarged, as well as many nodules form. And when these nodules form, it can can sometimes sometimes harbor cancer. So it's important to to stay on top of that. Um, I had my follow-up x-ray, a follow-up ultrasound scheduled actually for the very day that I did get fired, May 8th. It was a very banner day in my life. Um, and they had found that my thyroid had even enlarged even more and there were a couple more nodules, one of which needed to have a biopsy. I pretty much went kicking and screaming into the next phase of this. I was, I went to my endocrinologist and said, I am concerned about my voice. And she said, well, your speaking voice will change. Um, you know, it may take a while to recover. There's a chance that they may damage the laryngeal nerves. Um, there's a chance, you know, there is a chance of that. But she's like, it's not like you're a singer, so it's not like it matters. I was kind of speechless. <laughs> I was like, um, but I am a singer. Um, it's, it's such a huge part of what I do. Um. And for those of us that are, will listen to this and my friends that will watch this, imagine being told that. Like if you could say if you need to take my pinky or even my hand or my arm, but that um, wouldn't affect my singing voice. <laughs> but it was something I was so hesitant about. Um, I went into the surgeon's office and the surgeon said, he, when he walked in there was such a sense of peace. Um, and I'm not even sure he was aware he was imparting that peace. It was something God was working straight through him to touch both me and my mother to know that this is what needed to be done. Surgery was scheduled for the 27th of May. Um, no complications. After surgery, the doctor asked me to talk and ask how I was doing, and I was so hesitant to answer. I was afraid the voice wouldn't be there. And it was. Thank the Lord. Um, and it's just, you know, normal recovery stuff. In terms of what I found out May, on June 2nd, which was Tuesday, they did find cancer. They found three spots, and it seems to all be contained, but we're going to do some blood work over the next couple days and get me a body scan, which will say how, where it has moved to, if the cancer's moved anywhere, and I'll go through radioactive iodine treatment, which is a form of radiation. So we will go forth with that. And that should be happening sometime within the next three weeks. I will keep you all posted. And I thank you for your prayers and your just encouragement. You don't know how much it means to me. Um, there's people from Willowbrook and from Belmont and Harvest Bible Chapel and friends of friends and parents of friends. It really means a lot. So, um, you know, we're thinking positive. I'm thinking positive. I'm not getting on the computer after the sun goes down and, you know, protecting the knowledge and truth that I do have in the Lord and not letting things um, affect me or impact the peace that I do have. And it has its moments, you know. Nobody likes to be told that you have cancer. But, uh, you know, I, I'm just going to be clinging to the Lord during this process. And that's being in the hand, in the palm of the hand of our Creator is the safest place for me to be. So I thank you for watching and I will definitely do some updates within the next couple weeks and I hope you have a great day. Peace.